This is a CBS4 Tracking Elsa update. Hi, I'm meteorologist Jennifer Correa, and we're breaking in for the latest advisory coming in about Tropical Storm Elsa. Elsa is still showing signs of a little bit of weakening. In fact, the maximum sustained winds have dropped, but only five miles per hour. Earlier, it was 65 miles per hour. Now, with this latest advisory, you can see it has dropped down to 60 miles per hour. Now, Elsa continues to impact parts of Jamaica and southern Cuba. In fact, uh, that's center of Elsa is located north of Kingston at 50 miles. So the center is actually offshore, but conditions have been deteriorating for Jamaica and southern Cuba as well. Uh, they will be dealing with the threat of tropical storm force winds and heavy rainfall that will lead to flash flooding throughout today. Also, I want to point out we've had some changes in the watches and warnings, and I uh, will show you a closer look that includes the keys. But here's a look at the forecast cone. Not not much has changed. Elsa will continue to track towards the west northwest, making a turn towards the north later tomorrow into Tuesday. Closest approach, though, to South Florida and the Keys will be Monday overnight into Tuesday morning, and then Elsa will make that turn towards the west coast of Florida and then pick up speed as it moves over the southeast and mid Atlantic later Thursday. Here's a look at the infrared satellite imagery of Elsa. It still looks rather disorganized, but I want to mention those new warnings. Now, from Dry Tortugas to Craig Key, you are under a tropical storm warning. There's a tropical storm watch now, including the rest of the upper keys. Of course, stay tuned here to CBS4 and CBSMiami.com for the latest updates on tropical storm Elsa. Now, back to Face the Nation.